Diary of Wimpy Kid is an iconic book series known across the world, and for good reason too. When it first came out, people loved following Greg Heffley's middle school adventures, and many had related to the awful everyday situations he'd find himself in. Over the years, the Wimpy Kid franchise continued to expand in more ways than one, and author Jeff Kinney is releasing books just about every year now. Seeing the series come so far since its beginning has been kinda cool, but forgetting the past is way too easy. What you may not know is that Diary of Wimpy Kid actually has a long lost order origin that either nobody remembers, or they just never heard about it before. That's why, today, we'll be diving in and explaining just how this middle school wimp became the talk of the town. In order to really understand the wimpy kid's origins, there's a place we have to visit. Everything began with this simple website, funbrain.com. On the surface, if you've never been here before, it's easy to realize that there's educational value to be found. Kids can choose what grade they're in, so the content matches their amount of knowledge about the world, and they can get started playing games, reading, or or whatever else the site had to offer. Of course, Fun Brain in 2020 is very different than how it used to be, so we're gonna have to take a step back in time. That's where my friend the Wayback Machine comes in. After entering funbrain.com in the search bar and heading to mid to late 2000s versions of the site, things are different to say the least. The concept is exactly the same. You have a variety of games and comics that'll appeal to kids of all ages, but obviously the interface doesn't match with modern day. Now, if you head to the same page throughout different time periods, there's a specific constant that stands out every time. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Keep in mind, some of this was appearing before it actually ended up hitting shelves, and yeah, what you're looking at right now is the original Wimpy Kid journal pages. Each and every day, Jeff Kinney would upload a new page, meaning that people would always have something to look forward to. Throughout the years he worked on this, he was actively trying to get it published and out into the world so that everyone would be able to read it, as opposed to just visitors who went to funbrain.com. The especially cool thing about Online Diary of Wimpy Kid is that it's not an exact copy of the journals you all know. Sure, the majority of events and pages are relatively the same, but there are still a few differences that can be seen while reading. The Wimpy Kid fan wiki goes into heavy detail about what makes the online version unique, and here are a few examples. In this version, various brand names are present. For example, the console Rally owns is a PlayStation with 42 games. Also, Greg and the other boys are seen playing their Game Boys at soccer. In this version, alcohol references are made, such as when Roderick's party was discovered and him consumed it. In this version, Manny is 5 instead of 3. There's a ton of these differences, and you can find the full list of them on the Wimpy Kid wiki if you're interested. Basically, Wimpy Kid Online could stand out as something a bit more mature than the books that were eventually published in 2007. The reason there are so many small changes is likely because of legal issues. You need permission from copyright owners for certain things to be mentioned. You also want to target your book to younger audiences, so any mature topics would be taken away. Throughout the years, as Greg Hefley was becoming popular online, Fun Brain would do whatever it took to promote these journal pages. For example, in the Fun Arcade, it's a board filled with minigames. Each space is a completely brand new flash game that you have to beat to progress to the next one. I have incredibly fond memories of playing this a long time ago, and I do remember seeing a bunch of ads for Diary of Wimpy Kid. More specifically, during the game Mighty Guy. You play as the stick figure hero who goes on an epic platforming adventure, avoiding obstacles and always moving forward. The game takes on a very similar aesthetic to the Wimpy Kid series, which means it's prime time to promote the books to visitors who may know nothing about it. This helped in bringing attention towards Greg Hefley and why kids began to love the online version of the book. Side note, now that we're on the topic of the fun arcade, I need to vent for a hot minute. On the board about halfway through, there was a section that said coming soon. I always visited the site and I kept waiting, but there were no more games. Games. Those were some of the darkest days of my life, and I don't think I've ever truly recovered. Fun brain, why you gotta tease us like this forever? But back to Diary of Wimpy Kid. This series actually might not be around today if it wasn't for its original online version. With pages posted every day to gradually build up interest, Jeff Kinney knew that kids were having fun reading. The amount of popularity it received on the website is exactly what allowed Diary of Wimpy Kid to get published in bookstores worldwide in 2007. Whenever you have some free time and you're just really curious about Greg Hefley's origin, I recommend seeing how his middle school adventures started on Funbrain. What are your thoughts on all this though? Do you have any experience on Funbrain.com or is this the first time you're hearing about it? Let's talk in the comments. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.